All right, guys, welcome into Operation Finish Out Bill Snickle. Something I will get 100% wrong all of the time, as far as pronunciation, I'm sure. Uh, we're on Benishow, playing one of our holiday-themed operations. Bit of a departure from the norm for today. Uh, we do have quite a bit of noise, <laughs> so we are going to be... I am going to turn down regular effects a bit more than usual. Because there, there's a constant wind on this layer because everything is constantly moving. At least I thought everything was constantly moving. Maybe it's just the clouds that I'm seeing moving. Whatever. It windy. Uh, Belschnickel. Here's a gist of what's going on here. Uh, Russian forces are moving in to uh, attack some... Uh, We'll call them U.S. armed rebels. Uh, thoroughly armed, thoroughly U.S. armed rebels. Uh, oh boy. And I'm seeing some numbers I don't like here. Not at all. Sorry about that. Some uh, thoroughly armed rebels. Doing the craziness. Uh, basically, there's a bunch of ammo caches in the area. And their goal is to... Uh, a Russian's goal is to clear all the ammo caches and drive the insurgents out of the area. Um... We're going to see U.S. Um, U.S. is going to be the other side here for this operation. They're going to be basically looking to uh, stop them and hold their uh, stuff. I am going to make one more change here. I don't know what the deal is. but I am not getting the frames in my encoder that I typically am. It could just be this map. Uh, if you're not familiar, this is Benishau. I think we had Horror Hotel on here a few weeks ago. Yeah, I think this is where the Horror Hotel map takes place. And that map is over here. Um, dare I... Let's see, now that's funny. When it's not in focus, I get 60 frames of my encoder. That's super weird. I wonder if it's because I'm moving around. No. Okay. Something's going on here. Uh, well, we're going to try to push through anyway. I think we might have players coming in soon. Uh, U.S. is going to be... Or oh, sorry, Russia. We're going to be following Russia both rounds here. Yeah, I think it's the, this particular map is the problem here. Did I do something to my settings to make them crazier than usual? 
What did I do? Hmm. I don't think I did. What if we change... No. <laughs> Can't go down to two. It doesn't exist. I turn shadows back down to medium. Oh, want to become famous? Uh, you're banned. Goodbye. Instant Shadow Realm. He's gone. I guess, Joe, that was your uh, constant state of being as well. Daddy clipped. We can see all the um, radios coming down here. There's going to be two of them in every grid. And there's five grids that uh, technically are in play here. They have to be inside this area, as you could see, as you saw on our map. The uh, the main area of operation is going to be this particular field. It's actually got several sections here, uh, but there's also these uh, buildings all around. Some of them are multi-story, some of them are single-story, uh, but they're all going to be holding either nothing or the uh, the fob. Russia has to clear six of these and then they can exfil um, to the hotel to Juliet 7. So the plan is Russia attacks southwest to northeast. They clear six points and then they can either remain and clear the last four or they can exfil the Juliet 7-3. Once they clear 10, the round is over. But I imagine we'll see um, the round is over before 10 points are cleared. If 10 points get cleared and the round isn't over and, the, and there's still uh, op four remaining here, there is problem. <laughs> there is big problem or hijinks have ensued. A little column A, a little column B. Oh. You know what? I'm going to keep it a buck. I think I had Steam open and that was causing problems. Like, literally, I had the Steam window up. My graphics card is on its last legs, I swear. I have pushed this thing to the limit. should have bought one of those. I should have just bit the bullet and bought a new machine on Black Friday. Because obviously I'm not going to just buy a straight up video card. That would be dumb. You got to buy a whole new machine to get any value out of that purchase. Looks like we got players coming in very shortly here. Uh, the plan is still being drawn up. Looks like a southern approach. Postscriptum. Yeah, postscriptum. Great in theory. Uh, needs more execution. My personal opinion. But game is fun. I have played it before. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um... I was kind of moving away from World War II stuff, generally. I mean, but it is well executed. And there are things that 
FPS does that Squad does not, even though it is based on the same stuff. Things that Squad could definitely take. Um, uh, and then some things they should not, like how it is basically a hydration simulator. Like, forget that. You should not have practically infinite stamina in a uh, strategic combined arms uh, scenario, you know, uh, multiplayer game. I don't think so. It's almost combined arms. I mean, it's, I guess it's not really combined arms, it's like mecha uh, mechanized infantry is probably the best way to describe that. Players still joining in. Uh, I think we're gonna be running three squads, four squads. Uh, US running three squads right now. We do have four SLs for Russia. And by the fact that we have a all driver squad, I do believe we're gonna see those BTRs in use for Russia here. Um, let's go to the loadouts for Russia. I do have the loadouts for Russia. Uh, we'll take a look at these real quick. I don't have the loadouts for uh, the other team on right now, or I'll show them to you, but they're not correct. Uh, there's uh, two FTL, two AR, one medic per squad. There's two mini machine guns, two ammo bearers, and two, uh, three engineers? It's three engineers, isn't it? I'm making my notes up. Eight engineers, because I can't see the preview, and I'm relying on that. Uh, but there are two PTR-80s, a Logi truck, and a transport. Uh, Russia do have two times smoke barrage on call. And for the sake of what's about to happen, uh, Mill, sorry, US don't have Dishkatekis, and they will be using US camo, um, obviously. Uh, the scenario calls for militia, but we had a, uh, a map issue, which has, uh, we have a map issue that has stopped us from doing that. So. But the show must go on, and so we do have conventional uh, a conventional show off today, Russ versus US, <laughs> Russ Blue 4, US going to be Op 4 for our stream here. Players getting situated here at Russia Main. Uh, we do see another Lodgy coming in for US. Uh, there are two times vehicles here, I believe these are MRAPs. And there are several Lodges that are limited to 500 ammo, I believe. They will be able to rearm um, off any of these vehicles. And we have a flip at the bridge. Welcome, guys. Good to have you. All right, we're going to listen in on her news briefing. Lovely squad ops operation. Uh, but today we are the Russians. And we've just gotten intelligence that suggests that uh, our people have been a little bit naughty. Um, they've been so naughty that St. Nicholas has decided to visit them early and give them a, a bunch of supplies that they really shouldn't have. Uh, weapons, gear, kits, equipment, uniforms even. Um, St. Nicholas has been a little bit oddly um, generous. The local populace has been defiant in this area for a while, as you know. Um, and they've recently received a shipment of U.S. weapons, supplies, and vehicles. Um, so... We are going to go in there and exterminate uh, the possibility of them using this against us in the future. So we've been tasked with patrolling the local area here. Um, there are basically five different grids that we're going to patrol today, um, starting in the Gulf 8 grid. And we have our initial plan for proceeding on that patrol, if you just check your maps and reference those real quick. 
We are going to patrol through the Gulf 8 grid first by having uh, the BTR-80s. We're all going to load up into those. Uh, the BTR-80s will proceed to the helicopter mark for Squad 1's drop-off. And for Squads 2 and 3, your drop-off will be on the tank mark in the east. So we're going to dismount at the Fox 10 and Hotel 9 grids, respectively. Uh, infantry push with your squads, two on the southern flank, uh, three on the northern flank, and then how Inky decides for his squad one. Uh, but proceed into the town, clear it, look for any weapons caches that are there, and then proceed through clockwise is the initial plan here. But clockwise through the rest of the patrol grids uh, until we've destroyed all of the caches and taken away um, the naughty children's toys. So... Again, for reference, Inky Squad's going to be moving in on the 1 mark. We've got Killer J Squad on the 2 mark and DJ Russ Squad on the 3 mark. Uh, our 2 IC today is Bao, and he will be driving the BTR and or uh, commanding those two squads. In the event that both myself and Bao go down, we'll go in squad order from there, starting with Inky and then moving through uh, number squad order. Rules of engagement as we proceed. Contact. If you see something and you can kill it, shoot it, call it out, and make sure that you're still uh, remembering rules from basic, especially considering the enemy will probably be set up in entrenched and or defended positions inside the buildings and the hedgerows here. Um, another little bit of advice is you look at the map topographically. Um, there are hedgerows that kind of intersect some of these crossroad areas. So although we're initially proceeding to a crossroad, we're going to want to move with caution and get um, eyes on the cover and dead space on both sides of those as we proceed either to the Fox 8 or Hotel 7 grids after Gulf 8. Uh, squad leads, anything I'm forgetting and or any questions from anybody? Yeah, I've got uh, something here. Go for it, Liberal. Yeah, if we make it, if we uh, get our objectives done, let's not forget our ex-fill and I-63. I yes. Um, if we're taking heavy contact and we've at least destroyed a majority of the caches... Oh, this is we get across the bridge. ...off and head to the hotel there for a nice little break. Oh, no, the um, hotel. I think it's a, is it I-7 or is it J-7? Is J7. J7. Yeah, it should be J7. So the, uh, the, the, up the, the dock, dock is, is skewed off. just a little bit, but a uh, good call yep. out, Liberal. Thank you for that. So that'll be the exfil locations at J7. Listen for commands orders on that um, if that becomes an issue. We want to try to eliminate all of these goodies that the people have received um, from a undisclosed, unspecified Western power may or may not be our rival. Um, it's important that we destroy as many of those as we can, but if we can at least secure a majority and command feels it necessary, we will attempt to fall back out of these positions. As such, um, depending on vehicle considerations, uh, command will be driving a Logi. That will be the only means of resupply in the AO as we push forward. So um, be sure to use your uh, breaching charges um, liberally to borrow a pun there. Sorry, Liberal. You got me thinking about that. Um, and Command will bring those up with us. We also are allocated one times trans, but it does not have any ammo stipulated within it. So I think we're just going to stick with the Logi for now. Everyone should be able to transport in the BTRs. If not, you'll get in Logi with me. Any other questions? I have a question, yeah. Go ahead, Foot Crab. Uh, what uh, uniform are we expecting uh, the enemy to be wearing? Is it U.S. uniforms? Yes, we are expecting them to have supplies from the United States. If I was not uh, cryptically vague enough and or bluntly obvious, let's be bluntly obvious now, uh, they, the U.S. The U.S. has given them these things and we want to take them over. Probably got dark so all of a sudden. U.S. uniforms, expect U.S. MRAPs, um, any other vehicles that they may have received from them, those types of things. Good question. Any others? All right, we're good. Go ahead and let's get ready for live, guys. All right, armor crew, let's load up. Nikolai giving Babus a Western spy armaments again. Basically. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was thinking it was Portugal that was sending an arm. I was slightly annoyed. Hey, Alpha, did we get those yet? Yeah. Where are BTRs? Yeah, 
uh, Russian army wizardry magic will spawn those BTRs. We can't look at it happen. We can't. We can't watch it happen. Uh, but yeah, so they're gonna do a south to north approach, do axis, coming up the main town. So this is a big road. It comes up a slight hill. I think this is pretty much level after you get to this area right here. I believe the southwest approach is level up to about here. Um, but the idea is they're going to be two axes southwest and are from the southwest and from the southeast. They're going to roll and clear this uh, cluster of structures, the main the main town, the main village in the area, and then they're going to proceed clockwise around the grids. So uh, the first problem is going to be here this particular area this particular house is a two-story um there's very good sight lines down the road obviously um it could be a problem if uh it could probably be, it could be a problem with vop4 putting a bunch of people here um although i think there's a slight drop off here it's hard to tell because there's no like topo lines or anything like that on this map you could see the different terrain but that's all you can do um, speaking of the terrain, this is all forest. Um, this is all forest here. There's an orchard here. Um, structures that you can see here. These are fields, and these are the hedgerows on these fields. Uh, they may not be passable for vehicles, but I believe they are passable for infantry. I'm not sure if these are all like tall, super tall height um, uh, hedgerows, but I know most of them are. At least this, at least these are right here. So these could be actually, so like it could be like hedgerows on the outside, and then there's like a maybe pathing inside here. But you can barely see where the. Uh, the hetero might possibly be. And we are live with round one. And Russia setting off. Please watch out for mines. To... Yeah. That. And also. Just try okay. to. Up it up. Try to steer clear of the side of where we're actually attacking while we're rolling out. We don't want to get like KT with all these guys in here. Copy that. <laughs> hey, Beef, uh, once we get up here, uh, try to look really fast, like straight left, straight ahead. I'm making sense of it. I lost all my forward momentum there. I'm trying to find a speed that matches the. Hey, DJ, you want my squad to take the west side of the ride? You'll take the east side? The vehicles. Oh, I would say. You want my squad to take the west side of the ride? You'll take the east side and then move up that way. Okay. There we go. Uh, Is it the turn off? Now the next turn is to turn off for the first squad. So there's going to be one BTR moving up in this uh, north road. Break, break north. Here we go. Oh, it looks like the Lodge is also coming this way. And we've also got the second vehicle moving towards the southeast approach. Uh, let's take a look at the map here. We can see a fire team moving in the open. Uh, we have lots of extra activity way west of the AO. So these guys are probably going to come in. They're expecting a western push here. That's not happening, so they're going to be coming back in through the field, I imagine. They're going to kill already by the BTR. Fisco died. Big was that on Fisco? Uh, who was that? 
Uh, goat is not the goat. Goat is freaking dead. Big sad. Oh, they have a hat. All good. You All right. Right. This is actually brilliant. These drop-off positions give Russia all the time in the world to work themselves forward, but the lanes are definitely open. I think you're going to be a little bit less of a problem on the southeast side because there's a lot more. There's a lot more stuff. Here. I'm going to change my audio volume for... Command voice volume. Yeah, that needs to pop up. You know, I'll be honest with you. The first time I heard time now, I heard die now. And I thought it was like some sort of Marines who a thing. Forward. Along this ridge, along this hedge row. A smart call. Take the lead, okay? Keep your head down, keep your heads down, stay down in the... Apex, stay there. Behind the yellow Not building probably. was the last contacts behind the Top yellow it. building, that's all we got. No, I believe I do not have an EA on this side right now. Um, what do you need me to relay? Uh, I have a guy who just joined my squad. One up being spawned him in. Asking over to squirt wave one. You're not in contact, so you should be okay, but yeah. Yeah. Are you on me moving? Alright. Advancing to the first buildings ahead of us to our north. Take a look at some of these positions here. Odd bottle Fisco garrisoned. Fire team size force in uh, the buildings here. Steve Co has a freaking Carl Gustav pointed into a wall. That's questionable. Perez, the only one actually watching. If the BTR comes around the corner, Steve -O may not be able to react in time. Well, he's watching now. Then we got, uh, let's see. Boglins and uh, Utopian over here. Flank through the fields here. Draw some fire. If you guys want to keep putting. See Benjamin. Been a hot minute since I seen your name in here. I think. Yeah, Benishow. One proceed the bat fire teams, but just know that. Benishow, good map. Dead space, thanks to Force Bravo. Has it been uh, used that often? But we are gonna use it for today's operation. Probably a couple more in the next. Uh, in the next month or so. I feel like it's like one of those holiday maps we just return to. Personally, I want to see a lot more in the realm of old operations returning. Now, if the vehicle could pop through, I don't think it can pop through the hedgerow. Uh, one, says don't, one says don't push up too far. This is good. We can pull back now. I was going to get to that metal fence place called the show. The West Squad that was in the bombed out uh, town okay. has returned to the AO. Peak hole window. And no lat. Well, one lat with them is pushing north to a sector. We're going to call that sector two up here. This is sector one. Sleep a little bit oh, that's better. Oh, we're good. <laughs> oh, shit. This is terrible. <laughs> Stevo, Stevo th threw a Carl Gustav and missed. I think that was the tandem round. Enemy occupying the crossroads to our oh, road. Oh, is that a Russian? Copy that. Yeah. Thank God. No, if you can, no, try no. to... Oh, <laughs> uh, looks like the uh, second force is taking contact east side of town. Necessarily though, I'm just trying to set up some diversionary fire and or support. Two, we're going to be the main element pushing into... 
Stevos come off the uh, town here. Oh, look at that. Is a BTR sitting there doing nothing? Can Stevo get a shot off on it? Oh, uh, Stevo is actually getting suppressed in this building right here. Uh, let's take a look at how the Russians are approaching here. See a red smoke, so this is an FTL doing their job. <laughs> Boglins is dead. Looks like he got zipped by the BTR. And now we got a red smoke on us. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, we have some maneuvering here. We got elements from behind. Let's take a look at this. AR fire team moving behind has no lat. No, it has a lat. Oh no. Hanu. Hanu dead. Unless Hanu sees these guys. These guys just gonna ignore the vehicle? Come on, dude. You're gonna, I guess you're gonna fire the BTR, huh? They are just set up. There's a lot of casualties here for Russia. The Southern Force now taking casualties. And luckily for them, the BTR is not on the road. This is a pretty fast movement here. No, they don't see, they don't see Hanu sitting in here. So it's gonna be a nice surprise when Hanu drives up to catch up with his force. Uh, Stevo's still here. Stevo still has hat. I don't know if he has ammo for it. Can you see okay? Even if he has a regular heat, yeah. it could cause problems for this BTR. Front, oh, Somebody else took a shot at him. I think that was from behind. I don't know where that came from. It was a rear on shot and it's going to pop. Behind I can from behind. Behind? Yeah, behind. Behind? behind you. Behind? All right. Yeah, direct behind you. Up time just got zinged. Three traps. I should have anticipated that. Two traps. Alpha Guido trying to find a window here. Able to put a bullet into Uptown. Uptown has to bandage. Russia making some strong moves here. Definitely a setback, but it's still positive direction stuff. Yep. Stevo took out not an NSA spy though. That's a nice position for Perez. No one can hit him. That's tremendous. Perez is just in the hedgerow. Stevo wants to take a peek, but he gets cut down by Freestalker. And Perez is going to fall back to the... This is really nice. Nice work from Perez there. I, I imagine he definitely got a kill. Nope. He caused some problems, though. Russia have a fire team sweeping that hedgerow, though, so... Very shortly, things will change. Uh, let's see. Honu. Command has contact close. Break, break, break. Command has contact close. Wait, go down. Honu killed Grunt. And the other one. Say again, Inky. I'm still up. But guess what? He can't do anything against a mem rap. But DJ Russ is swinging his squad around. I think he just threw a grenade. Okay, he threw a grenade at no one. That's fine. Hanu's fine. He's scared. Uh, most of US is now in the fight, except for squad one. Now squad one coming from behind with a hat. Open top aim wrap. It's gotta be an open top aim wrap for sure. So the southern group is about ready to get smacked in the behind here. No rear security. I don't think they would anticipate U.S. coming from behind. Hanu heard the MRAP. 
Uh, Scottish is AFK. Hey. Oh, Inky, can we get you? Yeah, Inky, what's up? Scottish. I'm stuck. Yep. Oh, for the love oh, of the Lord. Fire. Enemy south. From the hedgerow. Uh, you can't do that with the vehicle. Oh, we took that hit. That was Second hit. They missed. Missed. <gasps> they snuck through the hedgerow. Oh, that's brilliant movement there. Oh, they killed the MRAP? No, the MRAP just ran through town? May not be the smartest play, but I'm bringing the Lodgy into the town proper. Um, How nuts is that? Yeah, push up to the crosswalk to the MRAP. I need exact contact on that MRAP. JKR is still in the other MRAP. No engine, though, so all he can do is sit there. I think it pushed past me. Uh, push past to going north, north. Yes, yeah, it's all back. This is one to command. We have enemies on our rear. Go on south. Inky stuck in the field. Unfortunate. Oh, Inky got glitched by a vehicle? Oh, Sad day for Inky, he got glitched. I'm sure he's not dead. He still looks like he's alive. And Squad 1 backing off. Squad 1 from US is backing off here. Realizing they've missed their chance to destroy BTR. Incognito Burrito by himself. Uh. Inky, I relayed that to EA for you. Um, Epsilon should be dealing with it when he gets a chance to. I think he's our only EA right now. Russia in a pretty solid control of Sector 1 here, but fire team led in by Sir CPT, or SPT, is running towards Apex. I think they're trying to find this AR. Uh, Incognito, my, in the meanwhile, has put a bullet into looks like uh, Efink. They're hunting something over here. Looks like SPT is trying to find a uh, way through the hedgerow. Just armor's messed up. Uh, second PTR is engined, but the gun is still operational. Copy that. Keep your gunner in there, watching the south uh, west. Of position. Yep. That's the best they can. Two, three, try to proceed and take the center of that uh, crossroads call and any other uh, caches that you see. Hey man, this is 3B, we have a radio to me, weapons cache on our location. Copy that. Sir, that Sir SBT starting to get through here. Russia have, are going to clear one radio. Platoon, enemy falling back to our south. Enemy is falling back to south. Copy. A lot of Russians here to deal with. The radio or the whips cache is going to be on Gulf 832. Gulf 832. Copy red. Relay. Abram. Are they going to cross the road? No, I think he just realized he ran out of the road. Man, we need to bump our other BTR uh, so they have gun depression. Hey man, this is, hey man, this is 3. Is that the first whips cache we took? That's affirmative. That is our first weapons cache. We will get an updated grid location once this one's taken out. Incognito, meanwhile, is uh, doing some dumb stuff. We're going to ignore him.
because um, it's kind of a high risk play doing that by yourself, even though he does have cover from Apex. But Apex is not looking for him, so. I might have to uh, switch channels here in Discord and do some crazy stuff behind the scenes. Yankee, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, try to get one of your squad, get one of your squad baits over here to try to drag you. You're not in immediate danger right now. Copy that. All right. The drag might, Three. the drag might get you back up and walking. Cash. If not, you're gonna have to get run over again. All right, I'll get low on here. He just needs to get oh, run over. Now let me give him a bandage out where that makes a difference. No. Yeah, he just needs to get run over again. And run me over. Command is three. Go for three. Go for command. He's multiple as west. Stay by that. Uh, let's take a look at the picture. US or Op4 have fallen back into a traditional team kill revive. Yeah, but like, it might not even work because he's in a weird state. He is alive, but his body is technically still clipped from the, uh, his body's still clipped from the collision. Could, but the problem is that he'd have to respawn to a rally that doesn't exist. He'd have to run back from main. Or do a bunch of other stuff. This is easier. If this works, then he'll be fine. Go for it, command. Go for command. Uh, Where do you want the Alright, let's not all be here. Holy shit. Uh, northwest is... <laughs> this is... This is a, a disaster. Copy that. Happen. Let's get four doing that. Spacing. Exfil. Um, infantry push out northeast. Okay. Three, 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 then yeah. two. Yeah, Enemy. Disregard friendly smoke. Not working. No. Those not. You want me to pick Can you up from mine? Minus three, be advised. We have uh, cash on both eight, three, seven. Yeah, he said that I need to stay Copy. here or no. kill myself. Oh, that's depressing. All right, we got some suppression going on here. Enemy smoke. Basically to the west of the BTR in command's position. Copy that, right. Rush in a bit of a standstill. They need to reorganize themselves and get in here. Twisties, uh, Twistix is now... Uh, you're going to hold security with the BTRs. Three, you're going to lead the push northeast as we plan this. All right, you're all good. I mean, we have rules against team killing, obviously. Even if it's to fix a bug like this, I don't know. It's It'll be up to the EA. I'm not an EA. Command 
Pac-Man, this is three. Uh, we had... We had enemy... I tried, I tried liaising with one, but, uh, it is what it is. Five, seven. It is kind of funny how the BTR is. Whoa, that was close. Shot, uh, 293, yep, they're realizing that they can be shot from the roof of that building now. Got some Russians poking north now, potentially. This P this uh, Matt V or the MRAP has uh, pushed forward a little bit here. What kind of visibility does this guy have from here? Can't be a lot. Uh, he could see a vehicle and engage it. He's not going to have any depression towards where the Russian squad is now moving to his direct south. Russia going to get a move on though. Yeah, just advise the rest of your guys to move out and get in line with three. They're sweeping and setting up a perimeter so that they can move to the H7 grid. Oh, so they're going to do counterclockwise now. Twisty heard the BTR and he's going to reposition himself again. BTR is definitely within problem time. It is in the problematic range of health for this MRAP. Twisty repositioned. BTR is moving. Disregard is going to be on Gulf 869 in the field adjacent to us. Is the forest for numbers that are remaining here two squad force for us versus still a pretty strong force for russia two and a half uh last known location was g869 for that rep Op 4 definitely preferring the wait and see. Better cover um, near the G3, G837 area. Uh, getting set up to cover the BTRs as they push northeast. And then you'll follow them out, Gandhi. Command 3, also be advised there is a gunner. Updated. Copy. Squad 3 advises that. Is that tracked or engined? Can we approach? It's a negative. It's a gunner MRAP. I think it's still operational. U.S. shooting at uh, Russians in the field here. Squad 3 or Squad 2, if you can give me direct eyes on the MRAP, um, and you can buy us 10 seconds, we can kill it. But if it gets the jump on us, it'll win. You got enough. It's kind of hard to tell, but this uh, hedgerow causes enough problems. Three to four, be advised to stand with the gunner. Uh, you should be able to take it out. We can. It's if somewhere in the H72 mark. Just let us know when you're at the Gulf 847 mark and we'll start firing. Alright, we'll start creeping. And rep is bugging out. Copy that. Four, get on the move. One, try to redirect your squad to uh, join up with the rest of us at uh, Gulf 8-2. Alright, squad three, we're on our way. Uh, we're rolling up right now. We need exact coordinates as soon as you can. Squad one still moving away. Three to four, be advised. The yeah, MRAP's gonna be parked on side of the blue building on Hotel 723 area 
on the out outer wall. DJ passed along good intel on that MRAP. BTR starting to climb its way up the hill here. Might be able to see you over here. Yeah. See over the trees. Squad one, advise you got your uh, guys moving westward. Are they sweeping? Oh, guys on infantry. Infantry dead. Wow, what a shot. Nice. <laughs> Utopian got nice windowed. <laughs> Hey, good job. Sorry for having to shock the Charlie at the same time as you guys. Command, disregard three ready, four, ready, you over. I'll give us a call. Copy, got to send, got to send. Oh, here comes Twisty. Three to four, be advised. I don't, I, I think given up our position would be, would be worse. Yeah. Uh, no, talk us in, talk us in, we can, we'll engage. Gotcha. You just need to talk to us. Copy that one. Copy that. That was an order I gave. Why are they heading that way? Uh oh. You want us to move somewhere else? Three to four. Yeah, you were gonna follow up on this northeastern push here between two and three's position. But if you guys are gonna engage that way, that's fine. Try to locate radios with that squad that's there. I know it's hard because you're disjointed right now. Uh, command, I believe there's contacts. I believe there's contacts there that they're flushing out. I think it's advisable. Copy. That's fine. Keep them there and let's do that. But uh, just. No. Uh, Perez getting out of there though. Uh, we're ready to advance. Oh, we don't advance. We don't know where we're running into. Uh, okay, absolutely. Uh, so there's multiple contacts in the. Twisty has a great position here. The Hotel 37 area. Once the BTR even no thinks about peeking this hill. On the hotel blue building on area. Hotel Last known blue building, seven three, Hotel 73. And it's not like Twisty doesn't know where it is. You can see the smoke. But there are multiple moving northeast. Entry contacts in the area. Multiple entry contacts in the area. Copy. Uh, let's, uh, let's consider creeping, but only if it gives us a, uh, you know, advantage. Otherwise, let's not. Uh, they might be able to see Twisty's turret. Yeah. Two story. Here we go. Let's see how many oh, let's see how many rounds Six. this is smart. Enemy contacts possibly cash location. There's three of them in the windows. If you can shoot them, you they're dead. Okay, three, give up four. If you guys feel like you can advance on that northeast position, I'd appreciate it. Alright, Gunner should be able to see something now. Alright, Scottish, scan left. I'll give you an update in just a second. It's still two and a half versus two squads right now. Scottish sees it. Got her down, that MRAP is burning. I think these guys have surrounded the building. Yeah, your BTR is shooting the right building. I think Long's trying to throw a grenade in. This is one command. We found an enemy grenade in the box of the. Long has a charge. Copy that and have one do that. Three status as you push. Uh, time to Bro, that could actually kill this entire fire team. Copy. That would be bad for Rob 4. Apex shooting into the window. Uh, dropped E Fang through the wall. That's a grenade. Watch out. And there goes the charge. It killed Judgmental Joe. Squad four to squad three. Flame Mage is still living though. Okay, wait. If 
Fiasco also dead to that charge. Up four down to, we'll call it a squad size plus. There's really just, but there are like f three intact elements and then one guy by himself. Russia is still operating. Looks like a two-story yellow house. Three squads. Russia hasn't taken casualties since. Uh, Russia hasn't taken casualties since taking the first town here. Just still inside, watching the front door. And I only think there's one entrance to this building, and I think it's the front door. What a peak by Apex. He might die though. He took a second round, I think. I got one, I got one, I got one. Copy. Two. Advance through the field with your current fire team. Have your back. Sir SPT just got lit up by BTR. Squad one BTR is rolling to you in neutral. What a play by Apex. Oh, the radio's actually almost completely gone. I'm gonna try and breach on this side. Moving. Friendly coming in, friendly Copy coming in. Uh, Alright, can you cover me? Great job. Meanwhile, the... What in the... BTR just killed someone else. Watmo is about ready to bleed out here. Copy. They need to recover the MRAP. Command that is risky. Recommend you do not. Uh, Any lats? I'm gonna try they have to a hat. See if we can get a better angle into. There it. is a lat. Sergeant Snickers is a lat. I definitely saw someone in the door. Does he have no in rounds? The okay. Yeah. Did Sergeant Snickers forget he had a lamp? That's not a good thing. Hey, do you got a visibility on that house still? Or no. Come in. Snickers is dead. So the lat is the uh, yeah, lat is gone. People in there. All right. Can you search that area in the Hotel Seven grid. Uh, meanwhile, the other BTR is about ready to be jumped by Polish Serb and Seneca. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Scottish and Bow and Bartok. <laughs> Big rip. One solid maneuvering. Have your guys take that western part of the road. Two is advancing towards Fox 736 time now. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty strong. Four. Copy that. I wasn't sure if it was you or them that took the hit there. Three, status report. Pretty, pretty strong. Blue four still clearing. Got to clear their uh, fourth objective now. Two more to go until they can exfil. Wantmo gets you wanna go dinked from somewhere. Uh, yeah, I just want Where did he get shot out. from? Okay. Uh, just be aware, they took a, it seems like they took a lat Some, from somewhere from our east, so they were ready for it. 
Hey, you guys are smoked out if you guys want to push up. Here comes Polish. There are guys in this uh, green building here. I see we can hold one here dead. So Alright. Here, we're blocking the entrance so they can't see. They're trying to move up here. So this would be objectives 5 and 6 here. Gonna call that for lib. Do you think lib make that shot? Let's see, I think it was through the window here. Lib was out there, but... Three staff report. There's a few walls in the way. Yeah, you are about ready to bleed out. I was, I, like I was wondering, I was, uh, I was digging down that thing and I was like, am I just getting like dirt in my face? Or, uh, being told that this is going on too long. Got a radio, I hear it. Two, you got, got uh, audio on a radio over there. Affirmative. Copy, prep your guys for CQC. Five and six. Intelligence suggests it should only be on the first floor, but keep eyes on the second after you clear it. You got some movement over here. Looks like Inquisition. Another guy are running somewhere. It's just Oddball holding one of the radios Building clear. in Hotel 7. And there's a whole bunch of people getting ready to walk on to Oddball. Let's pop over there real quick. G767. Suspected radio cache from Hike HQ. So we're gonna push to that along here for if you're in two or one. Go one. One to command. We have destroyed three enemy radios thus far. Copy that. That's what the EA is confirming with me. So below this one, that'll be four. two, three, four, five. Six, so just one more. Oh, look at this. Have they realized there's a truck here just sitting here waiting for someone to get in it? Can they use this? I'm gonna say they cannot. No wait, it's a crow's MRAP. Hmm. I think that was probably ruled out. Four, are you ready for another push to Gulf 7? What did... Did Polish just take a shot here? One, two, proceed along the same area. Oh no, they tried to, they probably tried to use the charge on the, on the cache. Three, link up with us. Copy. Bunker down. Control debt is probably what it is. Did they, one, two, yeah, so this one's this popping. Northern end, link up with three. Is this one popping? Six, seven, 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 yes. So one more cache to go for blue four. Yep, ready for a push. Copy, pushing. And this is two squads versus part of one. Two squads v one fire team, realistically at this point. A little bit more than that. Operating in two man cells, Oddball somehow walked away from an entire fire team plus that was just sitting there by him. And here comes everyone walking past Polish. Polish holding cover. Seneca's around here somewhere. Yeah, right with him. I Defense, no need. They're not going to check the other side of the hedgerow. Why would they? They're going to find their sixth objective here, and then they're probably going to just find some place to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Oh, what a throw. Seneca actually got blue Jericho partially. The BTR is going to reveal itself. I don't know where it came from. I'm assuming across the road north, maybe. Or possibly northeast, east. Possible enemy contact nearby. We got a grenade thrown at us, but no one died. Copy that. Oh, that number is bad. Two, one, try to proceed towards the forest. Four, keep eyes on that hedgerow. We know, like the yellow boxes. Objective six going down for blue four. Inquisition and Fisco making the run along the south road. So let's just be aggressive, push, take them. Vehicles allowed to repair? No. 
I don't think they're allowed to repair tires and stuff. I don't. I think we have modded the repair kits off of crewmen. Don't quote me on that. We might have rules. I think there's actually rules that we can't repair broken components. I don't think he threw it from really far away. Oh, looks like they found Oddball trying to run across the field. Inquisition and Fisco, right, making a run from behind here. Four, giving you another push. Good job, Good job. Timmy. Seneca and Polish gonna get uh, gonna get left behind here as Radio Six goes down. Army Soul and Frost up front here. I think it's gonna run up on Frost. Yeah, clear. Copy. Oh. Did Hood see him? Because Frost didn't. Frost not even looking. Frost took a shot at the BTR. He's taking a shot at Hanu. Look, it's Frost traded with Ar the army, so it's the trade back. Fire team now forming behind Inquisition is driving something. Enemy radio on Hotel 753. Inquisition is driving a truck. Copy that. Blue Jericho gets shot from behind Polish Serb and Seneca. Polish Serb gets zinged by Lagar and Summers. Fisco and Inquisition are riding the Lodgy to get back in the, the fight here. Lodgy basically throwing it in. BTR gonna try to shoot through the woods here. Freestalker gets hit. From. Inquisition doesn't have much of a choice. Army Soul is still the only one in front stopping Russia from pushing forward. And he's only in the field. He's not really doing much of anything. The main contact is from behind. Russia needs to disengage and keep moving. Seneca goes down as he runs straight into Apex. Inquisition eats a grenade. Yeah, I'm pulling back, pulling back. I'm pulling back. Yeah, it's just Fizco and Army Soul now. Down to two for for US. Three, uh, reminder. Quite an interrogative. For H7, did you get two radios or just one? Uh, just one. We're looking for the second now. Copy that. Advise you sweep to Hotel 7. Two more radios to go and the round is over. Copy. Army still has to do something here. Oh, the medic is over there. On, on the western side. Uh, turn this yep. One, Army still takes a shot. There goes Chris Ghost. From the south side as well. And Army still is going to get in the fight here. Yep. Free stalkers running at him. Enemy down. Yep. On the friendly down. G756. <laughs> and he disappears back into the hedgerow. Free stalkers saw him go. <laughs> Ooh, that grenade is gonna kill, I think. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It hit the, uh, it hit something. It didn't bounce as far as I thought it would. Go again for command. Fisco is still no, lagging no. behind. Army sold hit. He's gonna have the bandage, but he's a medic, so he's got all the bandages in the world. Fisco popped through. And Incognito Burrito saw Fisco pop. I think we're taking most of the contact to try to flank around to our south. Time now. Grenade going out. Ooh, that was close. That, uh, that made it in the fence. One. Sweep to the forest to our direct north. We're not trying to hunt and prosecute those contacts. I want you to regroup with us at Hotel 775. The word he's looking for is disengage.
That's the word he's looking for. I see enemy, enemy soul. Army soul. Does the brave thing and runs straight for it. Fisco is going to be a little bit more careful here. He knows the BTR, he can't fight. What are you going to do, buddy? He's going to headshot incognito after a miss through the fence. And the BTR is going to pop Fisco in turn. As he hops the fence, that is going to be GG. Leaving 5, 10, 13 alive for you at, for Russia at the end of that. Well, that's round number one. Quad Ops is a community focused on immersive and tactical gameplay. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. Quad Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical, and cinematic gameplay, Quad Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. To participate in our squad or armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun. Operation Benishal, Bill Snickle, round two, starting very shortly here. We're going to talk about what's going on. In case you missed it, I'm B-Car. Going to be giving you guys commentary from the bird's eye view today. Next week, we got something cool going on. If you're not aware, we have a... Uh, I believe it's on our calendar. You know, let me let me check. Let me check our calendar. Squadops.gg slash calendar. And as it loads in, I can tell you the good things that are happening. Of course, we have a second op today. Uh, I won't be there for this one, but we do have a mistletoe operation. It's called Operation Mistletoe. Uh, it's happening tonight. It's an open op. Looks like it's on Balaya. Brits versus Russia. Hmm. Very cool. Ooh, I just clicked the wrong thing there. Uh, tomorrow we have Takistan Origins Part 1 using the main 2107 mod set. That's an Arma co-op mission starting tomorrow, session one time. Ooh, I might play that. Would you guys like to see an Arma stream tomorrow? No promises, but it is a possibility. Next we have Awful Elf, Wednesday the 8th, 2045 session time, two, for session two time. Uh, that's 245 Eastern Standard. Awful Elf. Last time I tried the Arma, I ended up being a Grenadier in a Vietnam operation. And uh, I just, I used I used the bloop tube the whole time. It was fun, but this thing. Ah, uh, yes. Battlegrounds for session one next week using the French faction. So we will be using... The, uh, the current in development by Tactical Collective French faction. Um, believe it will be updated with a few things coming up soon. So keep your eye out for that. Definitely on the way. Um, we'll be, we'll have some of the developers from Tactical Collective on here. 
to talk about what they're what they want to contribute to the community with their uh, with their stuff. Do we have player spawned in yet? I don't think we do. Uh, but yeah, and then we also have run eggnog next Saturday evening, uh, twenty forty five Eastern. That's a basic required operation. No basic required for the battleground session one next Saturday. I'll be on the call for that. Uh, but next Saturday evening, 2045, is basic required. We also have operations on the calendar, um, including Rudolph's Revolt, Candy Cane Crush, Black Slay Down, and Rudolph's Stampede for the remainder of the month. Uh, also, don't forget our regular town hall of 14th on a Tuesday. That's our regular town hall at uh, 2100, Tuesday the 14th, for all you regs out there who want to get a lowdown on what's coming up in Squad Ops. All right. With that in the way, let's talk about Beneschal Bell Snickle. Bell Snickle is a attack defend operation over a relatively large size AO. Uh, we're gonna have, instead of militia for the map, Bell Snickle, our communist uprising peasant people. Uh, they're gonna be uh, US, US, uh, US armed uh, insurgents in this area against the Russian regular army. Um, so essentially as conventional on conventional for this particular operation, we do have Russ as the aggressors for the SOP starting southwest at their main, moving into the AO. For each grid in the AO, there is two fobs placed on the first floor of buildings. Uh, Russia need to clear six of these fobs, and after that point, they can either continue to clear the remaining four or push for their exfil point. Um, if they clear 10 fobs, the mission is over and Russia wins. If they exfil and uh, Op 4 are not pursuing, that is also another mission successful scenario. Otherwise, they could just kill everyone. You know, standard stuff. That's what we've got going on. Uh, loadouts. Two ARs, one medic, two FTLs, one SL for the squads for Russia. They get two uh, mini machine guns, two armor bearers, and eight engineers to go along with their two BTRs. They get a Lodgy and a Transport. They also have two times Smoke Barrage that they can call in for shenanigans. Uh, for Mill or Op4, ignore the flag. Two FTLs, two ARs, one lat, one Medic. They also have two uh, ammo bearers, three hats, not gonna have four uh, scouts. I think the hat number is also down to two, but I could be wrong. Uh, but they also have, they're gonna have a open top MRAP uh, alongside their other vehicles here. They're not gonna have the open top. Um, why? This guy tried to talk. I tried to talk to me. You guys are breaking all the rules. What rules, BTR? Yeah. God, is that you? God. All rules are meant to be broken. Uh, it's debatable. They're just up there for the, for the sake of it. That's the C4, I think. Don't actually place yeah, it so, there. Yeah, this is the C4, so you place it on the radio and then it will... Yeah, yeah, the objective, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so people are coming in right now. We got players spawning in. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be running four elements here on Russia. How are we running on US? Four elements. Uh, basically three squad. It's going to be three squads per platoon here. Um, you can see three hats being used for Op4. 
most of Mills kit, most of US or Russia's kits have been set out here. Just waiting for the brief, and then we'll get underway. See what's going in. Should be getting a brief soon. I think most people are spawned in. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I think everyone spawned in. We're just getting organized. The last minute stuff here. We're gonna go ahead and grab a com Oh, we're gonna listen to Inquisition's briefing here. We're gonna go ahead and grab command comms while he's getting the last second uh, stuff here. So we're radio free. Been a show. All right, you boys. As I said again, and again, okay, you guys did a fantastic job round one. I love the work you guys did. Even though we did not win, we don't have to win. You guys did a good job. Fantastic. I love every second of it. Anyways, uh, we have uh, some uh, U.S. military boys uh, backed. I mean, like we have militia backed by the NATO, so we are gonna go and uh, try to clear them out. Because uh, at the end, this is our land, I think. I don't know. Uh, let's leave that to the politicians. Anyways, <laughs> um, as you guys, if you guys open up, open up your map, uh, we're going to have attacks from the east and west this time. Ooh, Ooh. This thing. Um, uh, for squad one, you, uh, you guys are going to go on the uh, uh, west side. We're going to try to be sneaky and stuff like that. Hmm. Squad two is going to be for you boys. Uh, squad 3 is gonna go on the east side with squad 4, a BTR. We're gonna try to draw away the the people from uh, the west to us. And we're gonna secure the exfil for us. And squad 1 is gonna push in, clear out the ammo caches, okay. six ammo caches. Or if you guys feel brave enough, we'll go for 10. Because why not? If you guys have any questions, No questions? Where would yeah, XFIL be? Just one? Where would uh, the XFIL be? The XFIL is going to be on J723. Thank you. On the east. You see the small compound? That's it. Any other questions? Any other? Right there. Uh, ROE. Uh, what's ROE? Oh, he doesn't know. So the, yeah. the rules of engagement will be listen. that you're going to let your uh, squad leader know um, what you see and uh, the squad leader will make that decision. Um, I will yes. tell you, if you shoot, you better hit somebody. Yep. Sounds good. Okay, but like, okay, oh. so uh, give out a contact report, tell your squad leader, your squad leader will tell you to shoot or not. But, you but if you are personally in danger, then you can but shoot them. Okay. Deal. Gotta put my gun away. Shut up. Yeah. Put your gun away, dude. Put your gun away. Okay. Uh, uh, break them Why? I'm not gonna shoot anyone. Don't worry about it. Because we. Hey, have to... put it away. It's part of rules. Why? 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 What's the issue? Well, we're going to see some guy get kicked from the server here in a few minutes. Otherwise, let's take a look at this plan. Um. I like that. This is interesting. This is not going to work out the way I think he, the way I think he uh, is 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 going to work. Not now. Please break your squads up. Sorry, let's do that after. After the operation, please, boys. Uh, break them out. Everyone in their vehicles. Well, vehicles are allowed. Yeah, see, this... One trans truck, split in between you and uh, Utopia. I'm gonna come with you, Kim G. I guess it could work. It's not the level of... I don't think this is gonna be the level of... Wait, did they just throw this thing in the river? <laughs> Hold on. Kim Chi, you taking a um, transport? Oh, yeah. I found it. Yeah. We, oh, there it is. <laughs> they, they just threw the thing in the river. Because, well, Sad times. That. that must be the crow's M wrap. They just threw it away. Yeah, I would have left it sitting there parked. That would have been hilarious. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
because it's what they did last time. Uh, right, but like I was saying, it has to be infantry only. You can't throw a vehicle along this route. It's not safe. For one reason, you're not even going to get a vehicle up there. Um, for the second thing, how are you going to get the vehicle? You might be able to squeeze the right here. Uh, maybe here. And then, like, cut right. And then maybe you could make it. I would hope that this is an infantry push. And even so, like... You can have to be like the reverse Homer Simpson into the to the bush meme to make this work effectively. Uh, but op four positions, very they got a full squad covering the town. Fire teams covering this. Yeah, the fire team, fire team, fire team. So you got fire teams covering west side here in each of the concentrated points. And then we got a pretty wide couple of buddy teams. I think Scott is just trying to figure out whether he wants to stay or go. Ethiopian, are you ready? Good. Copy, we are ready. We're probably going to see it live here in just a tick. I like this. I mean, it'll be... Okay, he just got punted into oblivion. All right, we're live. Good luck, boys. And Russian vehicles are moving out. BTR... BTR is behind the main column here. We are seeing that one squad shift direct north. Interesting deception play that Inquisition has planned here. I'd like to see this work. If you could really pull... Hey, uh, Kimchi, if this Boggins dude does something else, just tell Epsilon and he'll fucking kick his ass, because I'm done oh, with no, it. It's, it's Utopians. Oh, okay, Utopian. Utopian, if that Boggins dude does something else, then tell Epsilon and he'll fucking do his ass. Uh, maybe I should intervene here. Yeah. Copy that, Frost. Maybe Frost will realize I'm streaming this side now. This is way out of the way. Uh oh. Oh shit, are you, are you driving? Yeah, His no. game crashed, he will try and get back in. Twist Copy. was driving in the return to main form. So that might delay the plan, although squad one is out there now. Midas is gonna go back for him, smart. Squad three. Okay, so these guys are gonna go up to the hotel and then come out through the hotel forest here. India seven two, push west. Not contested. No, there's one person here and it's Hanu. <laughs> he. This is interesting. I like. I. 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 I wonder. Okay, 
Go to your move mark and hold position, please. Hold position. Do not be rushed. Yep, do not push into early. Copy. There's no way they get caught. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, they're in the trees. Where's Alpha looking? Alpha's looking west. I don't think he's... There's too much fog. Was that an NDU squad four? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, so it was for us, okay. Uh, was it? Yeah, that was misfile. Ignore it, ignore it. Let's get, let's get back on objective. In D, East. That's not the worst thing to happen. That's the play they wanted to make. Twisty's back now. Yeah, organize yourself. It's still pretty early on here, but we see the plan coming together. Infantry making decent progress west, east. The line is formed. That's a beautiful line. Sadly, they're going to come in contact with zero people until they hit Hanu. And I think Hanu is literally just running around outside by himself. Now he's in a second story hiding. He must be in the window watching uh, southwest down the road. No, he's talking on command comms. So he's not going to hear anything until they start storming the building. Squad one, command for squad one. Hold position, wait. Hold position, wait. Hold position on the west, the west side of the road. Command from two, uh, where would you like us to go from here? Uh, go, uh, go north, try to repel squad two, squad two, uh, just wait, wait for the contact first. So instead of having two BTRs pushing through, they're gonna have one. Make the noise here, Inquisition commanding this vehicle with Grunt and Polish Serb. Watch out for mines on, on, on the road. Did they get yeah, mines? I'm not gonna so if they just go onto the road and go south, they're going to find Apex with an RPG. And uh, if he doesn't already have his AT-4 out, which he does... I drive us south. He's got AT-4, so this could cause pretty big damage here. He's going to have a clean shot. Does Grunt see this? Grunt does not see this. This is a problem. Oh, a squad leader told us to get eyes on the uh, intersection. They're holding fire. No, you missed. Whoa. He missed, missed, missed. Right side, right side. Uh, the 345 behind us. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Apex missed a lined up shot. Squad three is still pushing. Now it's pushed across the road. Has elements pushed across the road? And these guys are rolling back to the town. We're seeing the town roll southeast defense. No movement otherwise. I don't think this plan is going to... This is a nice idea. It's not going to happen until... No... We're going to see the MRAP move. That's free. But these infantry elements are not going to move north up the road here until three gets into contact with command and command's going to start yelling at people but the hat is now hunting the btr this hat is had hunting the btr here and this is lawn darts all right where's bartok bartok has to have a lot right bartok no lat or bartok no hat what Wait a second. Bartok has to exist. Oh, we're going to have contact here in the east. Or in the west, rather. Let's zoom over there real quick. They're rolling straight through the forest. Madman Pete and Alpha Guido. That's bad news. Lats and trees don't go along. Don't, don't go well. 
mainly because they either hit something say, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. or they yeah, air burst. Very smart by Stevo. Now Stevo, if he's very careful and has that 4K monitor turned up to 6K, he might be able to see Alpha Guido Madman Pete as he walks up on him here. Steve, yeah, it's not just two story greenhouse. Oh, cut, cut out. Madman Pete goes down, Oddball gets a shot on him. Alpha. Not able to add fire. Steve-O runs away. That could have... That was as well as that possibly could have gone for Russian forces there. The MRAP has stopped. And so now we're going to see the MRAP contribute to the West fight here instead of ruling East. The BTR is going to have to play a lot faster than I think it is meant to. To work out. Meanwhile... BTR has rejoined behind infantry to the east. Status reports, what do you see? Uh, buildings are clear, there's no sign of any contacts, no audio on anything either. Copy. Hanu is having a squad holding position you got a squad size force plus the m ramp over here guarding fox 7-3 the the dual points here got a smoke coming out uh, are you moving with the btr now we are because we were <laughs> btr's in the forest uh, squad three, oh the boy Hano tried shooting kimchi. You could just put hey, some PKT here. down. They're That'd popping really smoke nice. out to our east. They're popping smoke out to our east. Got the coax coming out of the PTR here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see what's going on here. We got infantry running for cover. Oh, this is weird. Ooh. They're trying to shoot through the window? Squad 3 about ready to run over Hanu here. We're gonna have some discordant communication for Op 4. I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> Hanu's looking out. Is he going to hear E Fink upstairs? Oh, they saw Hanu upstairs. Fucking running away. Hanu might die to this explosion, but he is a little far away. Hanu heard that. He better get in the next room. He might not survive this explosion. We're going to stay with this. You see Hanu in your upper left here in the window. There is contact happening. Squad one getting closer. We're going to assume straight back to them. Charges in the roof. Hanu's dead. Oh man. What a clean execution. The decapitation of Op 4 Command. Command squad three. Was that a radio? Yeah, that was yes. got him. Oh, fuck. Got I got him. Radio on my side. Uh, we placed yeah, C4. Copy. Nice. Good job. That's um, West. Try and get the oddball. Oh, they called it a radio? I just used my seat. That's not a radio, that was a command. Deadline gets popped. Building to building here as he, as he was trying to dig the radio. Roger. So one radio going down in Hotel 7. One more to go. 
BTR is trying to get through the trees here. Any lats? Blue Jericho's a lat. Looks like he's watching the staircase for people to come upstairs here. Yeah. So he's waiting. Alpha's still holding his position. DJ Russ beside him. Lagar is still holding back. There's Bartok with the hat. Bartok looks like he's starting to move. He wants to take a he wants to try to take a shot at this BTR, which would be bad because command's still in this BTR. Let's take a look at Bartok's line here. Bartok is sneaking along the hedgerow. He's gonna hit infantry before he hits that BTR. Come be advised. Second radio second radio play C4. Coffee, fantastic job. Good advice, um, squad 3's got a radio. Copy. So that's three radios down. No. That's two radios down. Bartok killed command! I wasn't anticipating the movement. Alright, gentlemen. Command has been killed in a BTR. I'm charged. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Squad 1, um, keep using, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you're doing great. Uh, squad three. Um, squad three, I need you to... I got map fixated trying to figure out what was going on over here. One BTR down, one to go. Remember round one, they only really had one BTR to make the big push. What is Steve just doing here by himself? Does Steve have a buddy and then. I had to confirm we have three radios down, correct? No. Nope. I have two on my side. Yeah, I've got her. Oh, well, now you have three. Three. You should have another radio somewhere in this grid with you. Yep, three knows they have a, another radio to go. And. The Scottish Champ is running away. I guess Bartok got traded, or is that Bartok right there? That's Bartok, okay. Oh, well, Oddball looks like he's still up. See, Benjamin looks like he went down in the middle of the round here. Oh, Oddball just got zipped from the south. Uh, AR down, from the, down, AR down, from down. the, uh... South. Here, back up a little bit. Right, right. Mm, should have used HE. Oh, speaking of MRAP. Oh, yeah, so they're in that north. multiple story red building down there. MRAP north. 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 What's he trying to do with this thing? He's trying to hide it in the trees to get a. He's trying to hide it in the trees. Copy. Thank you, they'll make four. He's trying to hide it in the trees to wait for the infantry to come around the north side. Nope, he just switched around. Copy. Two and a half squads for blue four here. Op four is still on about the same number. BTR starting to make kills inside the farmhouse to their yeah, south southwest. So. Makes a kill with HE. There was an MRAP due north, yeah, up the road. Copy that. I'm gonna pop some smoke so my guys can infantry can cross. Audible hears the radio. Bartok's running for this BTR. Do you think Bartok can make a shot from there? Uh, I don't need those smoke oddball. Mm. Balls of steel. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. I think Bartok wants to make a shot as soon as this BTR pops out. Stairs. 
fuck, he's uh, dead. Yeah. Fisco got popped by Jericho. Oh, around the back. Fuck ball. Puts a bullet into Jericho, but goes down. I don't even know how he made that angle. He must have been... Was he shooting through everything? Oh, this is the angle he was holding for Oddball, I guess. Yeah, you can see the bullets. He spanned about half a mag into that window. Infantry north side of the road here. Oh, what is this? Frost is in command. He's let his fire team go in by himself, and they've walked into an ambush. Seneca, Toxic Viper, and Army Soul are about ready to walk up on Inky. Inky doesn't seem aware. See if you can get one more in that grid you're in right now. There's only five possibilities. Um, I think we might be able to get one here on my Bravo team as well. How crazy would it be if they actually just walked into the objective here? Look at Incognito and Zavi here. They're just shelling these guys across the field. I think they've been ordered to blind fire on this infantry. They're, they're kind of accurate though. That's amazing. That's some amazing shooting there. I crossed over the bar. One, there's a radio. Yep, got a radio on my position. We're um, doing outstanding. Frost, we taking down another radio. So that's another radio down and another radio down here. So one, two, three, four. So in these two radios go down. That's it. They can exfil. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, they can exfil after this radio goes down. Londart's running behind, though, over here on the the guys that went into town. Radio down, radio down. They're running away right now. Oh, they're going to pass. Frederick is going to run into Army Soul, though. Oh, shit, the guy right here. Frederick runs into Army Soul, runs into Frederick. Frederick Ress is right in front of him. Lawn needs to throw a grenade fast, but he's hat. Does he have a grenade? He doesn't have a hand grenade. He spams M4, but he's not going to get anyone. Oh, no. Let's make sure it's dug down on the way three. Oh, yeah, the there we go. The BTR got popped. They have the fill on foot now. All they gotta do is exfil on foot. Um, yeah, get, through, get into the field, get the fuck out of here. They're gonna run away. So this one is already sparking now, yeah? Yeah, this one's gonna pop. So six radios down. All right, yeah, we're moving to your base yeah. right now. Um, um, what are, I'm pulling my guys to the hotel. Last time. They have a transport back at the hotel they can use, but... We are getting the fuck out of here. And that's the sign for Op 4 to move. Russia can have a nice head start here. It's basically a run. But Op 4 are going to have vehicles. Can you confirm that that MRAP that you shot the gunner out of is destroyed or is it still alive? Negative, it is still alive and kicking. Roger. Oh, they're not going to use the vehicles? They're going to run? They can't use the vehicle? I thought they could. 
Anyway, the M ramp is going to cause problems. I think they're trying to shoot. Bartok's trying to take shots at people in the field. For reference, the M ramp was around Golf 782 uh, before we got the last radio. Anyway, part of the move. DJ Russ in command with the vehicle with Alpha and Shorty Med Student rolling along the road. Let's say that again. And it's just spamming the field. If Russia's smart, they'd have someone with a lat, but no one has a lat back here. Yourself might have enemy contact. The MRAP is rushing for the hotel. If it turns left here. Yeah, there's contact spotted north of my business. Yep, it's gonna come down to frost. No, it's gonna go it's gonna sit at the road. Do you want us to just keep moving to your position? Do you want us to uh stay in an ambush? Yeah. No. Nope, it's going through. Um, I want you to either have guys on the rooftop or the floor. The or floor they're going to get people out? Okay. I want them to um, get tired of CQB so when they get to the top floors, they're bored of doing it and we're going to kill them easily. Copy that. Russia with a great pace here. It's just DJ Russ is going to run point for the MRAP, it looks like. This is the road that it's coming down through. No, Alpha gets out as well. Shorty just sitting in the gun looking for people to cross the road. No, he's sitting in the gun being completely useless around the corner. Alright, so Russia are going to get a free pass in here unless DJ Russ or Alpha can see someone. From their south. Op 4 closing in. Looks like two and a half full squads of Op 4 here against maybe one and a half for Russia. And we see the spam coming in. They gotta disengage, they gotta disengage. DJ Russ could cause problems here. If he gets into a good position, he can start taking out people. That's exactly what Russ and Alpha are gonna try to do. Nope, he's gonna run for the hotel. Maybe he thinks he can beat him. I don't think they saw, they didn't see Frost get in there. I think they think they're in front of them. I think Russ thinks he's, le he's, he's leading the Russians right now, which kind of is most of the Russian force. Squad size elements back here. They got a fire team in the hotel already. They have no AT. There's no AT in the Russian platoon. <laughs> Shorty Med student gets decapitated. Alright, the gunner's down. You can get to move unless there's other issues you're having. Could be Viper getting that kill there. Alpha and DJ Russ immediately getting inside, finding the staircase. They're gonna go all the way upstairs. They're gonna take the uh, the north staircase. Frost watching the outside. Dude. Nobody watching the staircase. Alpha and DJ Russ making a play for the balcony. Russia have to clear this. The e Fank no! got caught out. Get into the perimeter. Get into the perimeter Alpha gets another kill. SPT. Fuck. Alpha had to reload. No. Oh, that's bad news. SPT is going to climb the fire escape. Incognito no. puts shots on it. Oh, this is going to go down. Grenade out. Alpha and DJ Russ still in here. DJ Russ Wait, killed Judgmental Joe. Get to the top. Get to the top, boys. Get to the top. Get to the top. Alpha climb the fire escape. Oh fuck. 
Go up that staircase. Go up that one. DJ Russ trading with us, puts the bullets in SPT, but DJ Russ is gonna bleed out. He's right, he's right in the hallway, to the south. Alpha Guido. I attack him. Has caused Russia to stall out inside the stairwell down to a fire team. Seneca, the only person up on top of the roof right now. And Alpha Guido has this whole staircase cut down. All they have is the front fire escape, and that is exposed. Let them come to us. Meanwhile, Op4 climbing the west fire escape. Snickers killed by Alpha Guido. Bartok and Scottish driving in to complete the shootout, down to three Russians remaining. <laughs> They're gonna smoke at the staircase and run up it. Seneca's the only one up on top of the roof, and he's camping a corner. They're on the sidewalk. One side. up on the roof. I'm bleeding. JKR. Oh. Seneca. Kills JKR with the grenade, they didn't even mean to throw it at him. Seneca and Scottish trade on the roof. Down to Flame Mage and Fiasco. Fiasco's hurt badly. Am I the last one? No, I'm not. He's still up. Yep. Down to two in the hotel. Just find a nice angle and hold it, basically. Flame Mage getting shot from. They're trying to spam the door. They're trying to spam the wall. I think there's still one on the roof. At least one. I've got the hallway on your right. You should watch that staircase. Bartok coming downstairs. Trades with Fiasco. It's down to Flame Mage. Now I'm the last one. Squad size force of Op4 behind. Lagar gets onto the roof. And looks like he's gonna find the stair access. Flame Mage, the last one for Russia. Lagar are waiting for everyone else. Looks like some people are gonna climb the uh, the South Fire Escape. They're moving closer. About to out run, thinking about climbing that fire escape. Looks like he might do it now. Lagar holding the roof. We got Russians climbing the East Fire Escape now. Oh, they're gonna stack up and just clear it floor by floor. Oh, buddy. Oh boy. Or Op4 are gonna clear it floor by floor. Lagar goes downstairs. Flame Mage might have him. Looks like Lagar is taking a peek down the staircase. Uh, okay, so that's the stair angle there. We got Flame Mage moving. Lagar has a dirty angle here. That's two bullets for Flame. He's gonna bleed out unless he bandages right now. Nope, he bleeds out. Lagar credited with the kill there at the end. And that's gonna do it. A squad sized force of Op 4 remain to clear out the hotel. No refuge for Russians here. And that's gonna do it. Waiting on the official signal, and that is it. GG. A hasty retreat there at the end causes insanity.